Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back playing some more Genome Guardian. You guys made it very known that you wanted to see more Genome Guardian. I haven't seen that much support on a video or on a series in a very long time. So I'm giving you what you want, we're doing Genome Guardian. We did change the soundtrack. We tried with it last time, got a couple copyright claims, settled those, and I'm just I'm getting more and more and more. Uh, so we are definitely, we're listening to the Dome Keeper soundtrack. Dome Keeper, amazing other uh, game we've played a lot. But either way, the thing we unlocked, right, we were playing this extract mode, um, is the main mode at least, uh, last time we played. But we unlocked a uh, shoot 'em up mode, uh, and uh, we, we, we got a, uh, we got a, uh, an arcade cabinet uh, that we, uh, we built, uh, which you can check out. Uh, we got a behind the scenes if you're a member on YouTube or Patreon or whatever. Uh, but I play a lot of Galaga, and so a shoot 'em up mode uh, seems pretty, pretty cool. So it's raining microbes prevent their escape in this vertical shoot 'em up. Uh, otherwise, we get to still stay with the um, you know turrets that we've unlocked. So we did guardian last time. Uh, spins firing through two barrels at once, uh, or excellent build control independently. Rerolls plus fifteen and extra pre unlock slots. Let's do the dice one here. We do have less HP and worse of a uh, of a cooldown, but that'll be okay. We get multiple perks here. We're definitely going to take fridge uh, to help us with the the heat max. Um, resurrect when destroyed with full health. Uh, ignore the first hit taken each time, and then knock back, or and then we'll do uh, resurrect. So those will be pretty cool. And we're gonna go ahead and start with just a normal pistol, because that's if I was playing Galaga, uh, that would be that would be how it would go here. So let's let's do that here. Oh man. Okay, yeah. So very different. Very, very different. Oh yeah, I forgot about the overheat. I got so many comments telling me that I was, I, I was holding down too long, and I think there probably were a couple times I was holding down after we've already overheaten. Uh, and uh, yeah. Wait, an update came out for this game literally right as I started recording. <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if you don't know what this game is, uh, we, it's like, it's like we're combining almost like DNA. Um, and, uh, so, you know, if you have certain perks, they can only be like, these have to be on a, uh, on something that is, 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 uh, pink or whatever. Um, let's see here. So, uh, pistol. Yeah. Let me, let me look at this. You're saying the banished. Wait, did it literally? No. Okay. Yeah. There was, there was a, uh, update yesterday. Yeah, no, I don't think so. At least I don't see anything. Um, okay, so, but yeah, we, we create like DNA. So, you know what? I'm going to create a double pistol. So, if we combine two pistols, we get a sniper rifle. A rifle that fires a very quick and precise shot. Great for landing hits at full range during early waves. Um, and we're going to do, we'll put a bomb in this category here. And we'll do this here. So, now we actually get to do both of these. And, uh... Let me know. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit. It seemed like it was a little bit too loud. Let me know if that sounds better. We're, uh, we're, we're having to try to figure out the... Um, <laughs> we're trying to figure out... Uh, right, balancing music and the sound effects and stuff since we replaced the music. But I really like this mode. As someone that's played a lot of Galaga, I like that there's a completely different mode. Uh, like if we decide to keep playing this game more and trying to discover all these weapons and stuff like that, uh, then, um, you know, it, uh, it's, 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 it'd be really cool. So let's, let's see here. Let's, if I, if I go ahead and, um, oh, the, the, and these are upgrades to me overall. Um, I'm going to reroll. We have a lot of rerolls. Um, okay. You know what? So we know what this is. So it'll actually tell us, we know it'll turn into an auto cannon because we've gotten that combination. Try clicking a weapon's name while it pauses or in shop. The sniper rifle can evolve into all of these other things. Yeah. All of, yeah, these things here. 16 rerolls. Yeah, we're, we're using the dice uh, one. So we, we get uh, extra. So let me move myself up here. Uh, so it seems really, really cool. Um, 
So you know what? Let's go ahead. I'm gonna get a new thing here. We want to we want to create really cool combinations. To me, that's like some of the most fun, right? Uh, if you've seen, we can actually see all of the weapon combinations we've created and all of the weapon combinations we haven't created. And this is the coolest part, um, all of uh, of of everything. So I'm super excited. Uh, but I really like this. Uh, I really like this game mode. This game mode's pretty cool. And I think a sniper sniper rifle type things seem really, really good for here, especially because I can like physically aim. Normally, like when you're playing Galaga, you don't have a crosshair, so you don't actually know exactly where you are. But in this, I can specifically go exactly where I'm needed. Um, and, uh, and that's pretty cool. Pretty cool in my opinion here. Just came from your Vampire Survivor videos. Uh, absolutely enjoyed them. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah, we're planning on hopefully getting to some more Vampire Survivors this week. We still need to do the Contra adventure. Okay. So size and fire rate, or size up, fire rate down. Um, I'm gonna reroll here. So we can get more fire rate, but less damage on the sniper. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh man. Okay, things are things are starting to things are starting to cook. Things are starting to get uh, a little bit spicier. That's okay. That is okay. But yeah, let me know. Uh, you know, if you guys, uh, those of you guys that uh, kept letting me know that you wanted to see more Genome Guardian uh, in general, let me know if you like this mode. You know, maybe if we keep uh, playing this game, maybe once a week or something, right? Maybe we, uh, you know, switch between modes or something. Uh, either way, pistol. Okay, what happens if I mix a pistol with this? So we don't know what a CC. We don't know what two um, uh, of these are plus a pistol would be. So let's see, a laser. Oh, the, wait, that is. So three of them is a is a laser. A highly accurate hitscan laser shot that pierces through microbes for deleting hostiles the moment they enter your view. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Okay. Ooh! Ooh! This is pretty good. Have you played Doom Eternal? I actually uh, have. I think I made one video on it back when I was like a game reviewer. Um... But yeah, that's a fun game. I love the uh, the modern Doom games. Love the way that they they promote you to be f feel super aggressive and feel like the Doom guy, right? By like, what? You're you're about to die, or you don't have ammo or anything? Well, go go melee and, and be aggressive. Like you got to be more aggressive to do good in that game. It's really cool. Um, fire rate plus hundred percent to microbes with C uh, DNA. Uh, so anything that's shooting at us. You know, I'm fine with that, because I don't think being shot at's the worst here. Okay, let's... I'm gonna pay. Okay, we don't know what CCC is. Let's see that. CCCC, all pistols, is, becomes an ion laser. A piercing hitscan laser shot of instant and ultimate devastation with near-perfect accuracy. Synergy is best with range-reducing upgrades due to its excess base range here. So we just got a crazy, crazy sniper, which seems really good. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to build some other weapons with this DNA stuff. Um, maybe we just create like a crazy sniper build here. Sniper stuff seems to be really good on the genome stuff. So AOE might be pretty good. Never seen this game before, but it looks sick. Yeah, we we did one video on it a week ago. Uh, that video did very well. People people wanted to see more, so. Um, okay, let's go ahead and throw a submachine gun in here. Create the auto cannon. Nothing crazy here. Nothing crazy. And then I want to throw C's. I want a lot of C's. So I'll probably do a AT or ACCT, as I'm assuming what that would be. I want I want the pistols to be a big part of all of this stuff here, you know? Cause right now the laser's carrying here. We probably could get more attachments for it too. Cause you you create the physical things with the DNA stuff and then you get like different perks or whatever uh, for it. Um, accuracy uh, and range up. Okay, I'll get that. And I'll reroll and I'll lock that pistol cause that's what we're overall looking for. We're trying to create a lot of pistol heavy DNA things. Because that type of stuff seems like it'd be pretty good. But at least we have enough range on those on the autocannon uh, where we're not doing too bad here. 
Uh, we're doing really good. I really hope that there is an ascension level, both on the shoot 'em up mode and on the classic mode. That's what I'm really hoping, because I would love if we keep playing this game as a series, right? We we keep going up on the difficulty of the normal game and then on this shoot 'em up mode, because I really like this shoot 'em up mode. I hope it's not just like a mini game or something like that, you know? Um, okay, so let's see. Now we're going to add. Wait, we already did. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, that's fine. Anti air cannon. So I think we've already gotten that. But it's uh, going to help a lot with this shoot 'em up mode. Uh, what is this game's name? Uh, it's Genome Guardian. I won't backseat, but there's one thing that makes that weapon fun. Yeah, definitely. The, the, the fun part of this game for me is absolutely discovering... Uh-oh. All of the quirky stuff this game has to offer. So I know there's probably people already have meta weapons or whatever, but I'm just having fun trying to create things, see what they uh, turn into, you know. So another pistol here. Nice. We don't know what this is. What is it? Anti-air Gatling, a violent down, downpouring of fast, accurate anti-air slugs. A spicy combination of proximity, detonation, and exceptional fire rate. That's, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Reminds me of Galaga? Yeah, yeah, that's why I really like this shoot 'em up mode, because I'm a huge Galaga guy. I literally got an arcade machine, mainly because it has three different versions of Galaga. Also, oh my gosh, dude, that thing's insane. That is insane. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Pretty good here so far. Uh-oh. We got some healing. I don't think I needed that. We also have triple biomass. So if we get kills, we get a little bit more money. So now we have to buff the enemies up here. It's almost 4 a.m. here. Peace. Yeah, thanks for staying up so late. <laughs> Um, microbe size is bigger and they're healthier. Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, okay. So this one, I want to start with a submachine gun. I want to do a C C C three C's. That's what I want to try with this. Uh, fire rate and knockback. I'll reroll accuracy up, but less fire rate. No. Critical chance and accuracy. Or just in general speed. I'll just hold on to my money. I think we're fine right now. I think we're okay here. I think we're okay. Are you saying that anti-air does no damage? Wait, what? Seems like it's doing damage, but I can't really tell between... Yeah, I think the anti airs do 12 and my laser does 61, or... I don't actually know. Wait. I don't... I think this does damage. <clears throat> have you seen the Friends vs. Friends update yet? I have, I have. We're, we're, I think we're planning on uh, checking it out uh, tomorrow. No damage as it's a small amount. I mean, it shoots a lot, though. Ooh, get some homing. Yeah, I'll get homing, but less damage on that anti-air Gatling. So now they have homing. Uh, if they need it. Though they're really fast. I don't actually know if that's going to help me. To be completely honest. I don't, that might, that might have been a, a mistake, but that's okay. The combinations seem endless. Yeah, there is a lot of combinations. There's 69 weapon combinations. We've only discovered 29 of them. Uh, there's also out of game progression. So it's definitely a rogue light. Uh, okay, so we're going to get a scout rifle here. Um... Okay, whatever. I do like having all these rerolls. This dice, uh, this dice, uh, turret, because there's so many different turrets that you unlock as well. Uh, this one's pretty nice, having all these rerolls and stuff like that. If you're going for a specific type of build or whatever. Definitely miss the copyrighted music, but. 
Dome Keeper's slapping pretty hard, which speaking of which, I think there's supposed to be a giant, like the biggest Dome Keeper update the world has ever seen. Uh, so if that's the case, definitely expect uh, some, 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 some fun Dome Keeper videos. Okay, we'll give burn to whatever this bottom thing is. We'll lock the pistol. This is pretty good here. What is this? This is Genome Guardian. <clears throat> yeah, do I have ACC already? No, I don't. Because, yeah, ACC, C, it, we're going for, yeah, the thing I'm trying to get on the bottom is something we haven't discovered. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's a game where you combine DNA here, make really quirky weapons. Uh-oh. Stop shooting. Actually worked out there. Actually worked out. I think there's only 25 or 30 waves, too. Nice pistol. Oh, okay. Beam! A steady maintained beam of light that damages all hostiles within its cast, expertly destroys microbe offspring, and it has um, fire to it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Reroll. Crit chance and accuracy. I'll put that on this ion laser. Some crit stuff seems like it'd be pretty cool. Oh my god, dude. Oh, this is sick. Our build already looks so cool here. We got like a crazy sniper build. This looks so cool. I'm gonna have all the beams. Exactly. This is sick. <laughs> like laser, ion laser, anti-air Gatling beam. And we still don't know what beam's gonna get turned into. We've never unlocked it. Long build. Yeah, exactly. All right, we gotta make the game harder again. We unlocked a new perk. Uh, you can't produce an antidote for all three. Okay, yeah, yeah. So either the microbes do less damage to me, but they have more health. They're invisible until within 75% range. Or they're faster and they do more damage. I'll just say they have more health. I think that's fine. And here we go. ACCC is a laser repeater. A repetition of precise hit scan laser shots that pierce microbes, a balanced approach to dealing damage instantaneously from afar while maintaining a nice fire rate. So it looks like our build here for today uh, is a uh, ion laser anti-air Gatling laser repeater. So we, we have definitely done our DNA combining uh, to create a sick looking laser and we still need to uh now we can spend all of our money getting the actual perk upgrades to make this build even stronger uh, i always love trying to focus on the weapons first because to me that's that's the fun part here but i like this mode because i can aim with the mouse and then oh, that's a big boy uh and then uh just hold down space bar which i don't remember how we played last time that's probably what we did last time but uh wave time so we could make the waves shorter uh, more fiery. I want the size on these things to be pretty cool because I think that would just be super, super, super cool. And you can change the enemies. Well, I think the enemies are just generated based on those. Uh, so they're still based on that. Um, oh, wait. I'm supposed to click these. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Call of Duty all over again. It's, it, it, it's whatever you play a match so that you unlock like 7,000 different attachments and you don't know what's on what and what gun and you're trying to get rid of the new notification and then you back out of it and oh it did a little it did a, oh that was satisfying okay click 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 we're playing cookie clicker now we're playing cookie clicker I didn't know this was part of the gameplay click 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 okay what about here though do I gotta click all the checklist okay I, don't, I fortunately don't think I have to do that <clears throat> also, congratulations. You have so many more members uh, than before. Uh, good for you. Yeah, yeah. We've had a bunch of awesome people like Indra and Baltazar, a bunch of other people uh, gifting a bunch of memberships. It's, uh, it's been awesome. Um, okay, I want the size to go up. I think that would look insanely cool. Um, si okay, here we go. Si there we go. Size and range. Can put that on that laser repeater. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's already making things look so much cooler. It already looks so much cooler. Let's go. Oh my god. 
We did make the uh, the shooting enemies shoot more because I didn't think it would be that bad in this mode. Which I think my hypothesis is still somewhat correct. Especially because of this build. Because of the lasers and stuff that we're doing. I think it's helping a lot. Um, so I could get size, but I don't have any um, of the green. Like, I can't get a green perk if I don't have any of these, you know? Um, okay. Uh, Reroll. Bounce. But I didn't have a green. And there's our last reroll. That's fine. We only have uh, three of the other uh, upgrades, and we do need to pay for to actually open up the perk slots. So, triple biomass. It's gonna give us a lot of extra money here. Biomass is the in-game currency we use in the shops, and research that green number, uh, sorry, purple number, uh, is uh, for the out-of-game progression. Okay, not seeing what we want here. I don't have any more rerolls. I'll go ahead and just spend all of my money opening up these slots here. So all of our slots are open. But I want things with size or, or things that are quirky. I want things that are going to make this build look absolutely insane. Okay, also if they make it to the bottom of the screen, you do in fact take damage. But I had something, one of our perks that we started with was... Um, where we would block the first hit every time. So that really helps. Oh, dude, some of these guys, I mean, I know I've been buffing their health as well, but geez. Okay, so we this helps us with our heat so we can hold on to it more. Okay, sure, we'll take that. I have so many spaces. Um. And I can't take that. I don't have any more rerolls. Normally, you only get like one reroll or two or three. I think I have a little bit because of some of the out of game progression. But uh, games, games picking up. I don't know if it's because now we're we haven't gotten an upgrade in a while. But I am a little bit scared. But we still have twenty one HP, and I could spend all the money if I need on healing. Oh, also, wait. Okay, let me just try holding down. I think it actually is going to get really hard for me to overheat. That perk was insane. Um, Pierce? Okay, okay, I'll give it Pierce. I'll give that Pierce. I, I don't think it already had Pierce. So, yeah, because every kill I get... Oh, dude. Triple fire rate, too. The Dome, Dome Keeper soundtrack surprisingly fits with this. Yeah, I was I was even talking with the uh, the dev. Um, and uh, yeah, it definitely, I know it seems, uh, especially if, if you're a smaller uh, gay indie dev, but man, I, I really think it's it, it would it's worth it. If you have a game that's this good and is getting decently recognized, like I don't even think this game's very underrated. I mean, obviously it could do a lot better. It's it, it's got like 114 very positive reviews since it came out in May. But man, it like uh, just yeah, having like even like a small you know uh, someone com you know get a commission of a custom soundtrack. I think that shit goes a long way. You know. Uh, don't really want any of these, so I'm not going to here. Oh, but we lost 15 maximum heat. I got gotcha. you. That was the downside of that. Because yeah, overall right now, I'm just able to hold it down, which feels very, very nice. Because also like, um, you know, I do, I talk to, to Sunday a little bit still um, behind the scenes, just helping pitch game ideas for him to maybe play. So anytime I play a game I really like on my channel, I'll pitch it to him. Uh, and like a game like this, I mean, it doesn't have a sound, you know, soundtrack and stuff. I think he played it. I just don't think it was good for a video or something. Uh, eliminate a random microbe every five seconds. Um, 
Homing on the lasers, I, I don't know how that will work. I'm going to go ahead and say up our crit damage since we have a little bit of it. And I'll, uh, I'll just let it go. We'll see how this works here. Think I think it's 25 or 30 for the wave. And I really hope there's an ascension level for this system. I hope this isn't just a mini game. I hope this is genuinely a game or a game mode that the game takes seriously. I know the dev was in our stream last time and really wanted us to check out this mode. So I definitely understand why. This is a very fun mode. Game is half off for the next 40 hours. Hey, that's sick. Yeah, I think this video is going to come out too uh, very soon. So might still be out. Uh, range plus 100% with weapons with bounce. More range and speed. Knockback. I want more rerolls. I have so much money. It is wave 30 that we got to get to. We must get to wave 30. Getting a lot of research for this out of game progression. Apparently like there's some like kind of hidden story stuff too as well. I don't know. This game seems to have a lot of quirky things that we don't even know. Like I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface on this game. So if you guys want to keep seeing this as a series, definitely keep letting me know. Ooh, yo, knock back and size up. That's what I wanted there. That's what I wanted. Oh, dude, that's crazy. That looks even cooler now. Cat just heavily snorted in its sleep. Oh, I think we still have our two kittens here somewhere in the studio or there's one or there. No, they're both there. I don't know what, I think they're grooming each other, something like that. Oh, I missed one. I got distracted by the kitties. I'm gonna lose the game now. I definitely think we're gonna get a win here. Can't buy anything, move on. A lot of summons over there, but I have all the piercing. And anytime there's summons, that makes it really easy for us, too. I'm just able to just hold it down. Pretty much getting to ignore the entire heat stuff. You technically haven't taken damage yet. Yeah, because I had that one thing that kept blocking damage. Um, Knockback, damn it. This is extra knockback and damage universally. I don't want that. Wave 27. I wish you could buy rerolls. I was literally thinking that earlier. I do think you should be able to spend your currency. I guess I, that they're trying to get you to do the out of game progression, but still didn't take any damage. It got blocked. First one, first hit free. Uh, nothing yet, nothing yet. Cause that's the thing, we have to get a blue upgrade. It has to be blue since that's a CCCC. Cause the upgrades you can only put in based on your color. I think you can put in the white upgrades too. Oh, oh, oh. You will not get to the bottom of the screen. Just being able to aim is insane. Like so, even something as silly as being like having your cursor makes it so much easier compared to something like Galaga, right? I've been playing Galaga on that machine behind me. Oh, nice. Okay, crit chance 30%. It's not size, but we are doing a crit build. I'll gladly take that. Would size be insane for lasers? Yeah, we've been we've a lot of what we were looking for was size. Mainly just because it would look cooler, but also, yeah, it helps hit multiple things because some of the lasers were really small. But at this point in time, we're so late, I'd rather get something versus nothing. And uh, crit ends up being perfect for this build, considering we just have extra crit damage uh, on our on our uh, ship itself or our dice. Oh, took some damage, but remember, first one's free and vulnerable here. Oh, they shot some projectiles. Damn. Well, I guess I'll heal. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? <laughs> and we technically can get one more uh, ship upgrade, but this is the last wave. We're already about to beat it. I 
Let's do this. this yeah, the, all this stuff is so good against projectiles, too. Way of ending here. Hey, there is an ascension level mode for this. Yo, so now shmup depth one is available. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go endless here. Uh, until I get a good, until I get a good shop, or until I get a good third slot for our tower, we'll take this endless mode, right? We'll, we'll earn more, uh, out of game progression here. See if we can last a little bit longer. Cause I wonder if the game gets a lot harder. There's some games that their endlesses are fun to play like Brotato because the, the, the difficulty ramps up very quickly. Uh, and so it doesn't feel like an endurance match, but then you have other games that, um, that the, the endless modes are just pure on endurance matches. Who can play a run for seven years in a row because the game doesn't scale very well. So seems like it's picked up in difficulty. I still haven't taken any damage. Um, and I have plenty of money to heal if I did. Because I think I also have to block projectiles from hitting the bottom of the screen. Or at least some of them. Because I guess some of the... No, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it here, but on the other map, there's a mod that makes bullets bounce off the edge. We got offered bounce. I don't think we took it, though. Uh, extra damage shots fired at 0% uh, heat. Nah, I could find something better. This game does seem to scale from what I saw you doing last time. Yeah, okay. It definitely seems to be getting harder. Oh my god, does it seem... We might actually lose here. We might lose here. Also, now we're in the uh, Hollow Knight soundtrack. I think it is transition to. <laughs> but you know what? It works because we're in endless mode. So sure. Okay, yeah. It is getting a lot harder now. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Plus 100% homing to weapons with homing. Which is, what, only one thing? But you know what? Or heal for max health if you don't take a hit. No, okay, we'll just get the homing thing. Just so there's something. So we've maxed out our build. We can keep healing. Projectiles don't matter, just the enemies themselves. Yeah, I guess there's just probably some things that look like a projectile. Like, because maybe they're like little summons or spawns or whatever. This is pretty sick here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, those things really remind me of Galaga. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We still got 18 HP here. Oh, 12. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. 10. Heal. You can only heal four per, though. I don't know. We're about to lose here. We're about to lose, but I'm going to try. We're working hard. We're hardly working. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. These spiders. These spiders. Fight them off. Fight them off. I'm trying. Dude, we have so much research. We're going to get a lot of out-of-game progression. That is for sure. Uh, we are... Uh, we're struggling, though. We're struggling. Heal. That's all I can do. Dude, I couldn't even... All right. Okay. No. Yeah, I don't even think I could get that small guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I don't... Uh-oh. Are we dead here? Are we dead here? I have 7 HP. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm just a small little guy. <laughs> I'm just a small little DNA boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have 2 HP. Okay. 2 HP. I'm at 6 HP. I'm at 6 HP. The homing is being helped a little bit, but it's it's still not that great. Oh my gosh. I'm at 2 HP. I'm at 2 HP here. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're still alive. Now we're back up to 10. We've somehow stabilized a little bit. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, that one... Oh, dude. And then they left those things. Uh-oh. No, it's over. 
We must fight back. I'm at 4 HP. I can do this. Oh, I overheated. I overheated. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, I had the regeneration thing. Well, now I'm at 19 HP. Maybe that gives us one more area. One more area. Okay. We got the one uh, <laughs> that that bought us one wave here. That one perk slot that we had. But hey, that ends up getting us more research as well. Oh, I overheated. Yeah, we have to deal with overheating again. Now that I can't just insta-kill everybody. And there it is. <laughs> well, it's good to know that playing endless mode's actually like pretty decent. Man, okay, so let's see what we unlocked here. So Arsenal, first of all, we uh, I love that it shows you stars if you get a win with them. And like all of the stats and stuff like that. I really like that. Um, and then in, uh, where was it? Rec not records, micro, not my, wait, where? <gasps> Play. Oh, here we go. Intro research. Yeah, we're still on the intro research screen. So we have 1600. Uh, we're going to go ahead, I guess, and max the starting health, max the starting fire rate, starting knockback, speed, uh, making them have less health, making them slower, making it where I can get more rerolls and have more perk slots. That's huge. Uh, and then making heal cheaper, which doesn't matter. So we're still just in the intro research. There apparently is stuff even beyond this. Um, we also, let's see, we unlocked a new thing here, Daisy. We've, we haven't used it yet. Uh, that, I, Daisy would probably be pretty fun with, um, with, uh, what's it called? With uh, the 360 mode. We then have Maw swallows them whole. Eat microbes to gain health. You lose health every two seconds. Uh, and uh, the turrets. That's so interesting. Like these turrets all play so different. And there's 46 of them. Like this game seems like it's got a lot of a lot of stuff. So, and we can have one extra perk in the future. There's a new one called um, Calculator. Plus 25% damage when at full health. And you lose damage otherwise, which is actually pretty interesting here. So, man, oh man. And then, yeah, look at this. So now we can do either depth one on an extract or depth one on the shmup mode, which I'm so happy that the dev decided uh, to do something like that uh, because uh, I like both of the game modes. So if you guys want to see this as a series, maybe we switch. Uh, you know, every other episode or some uh, stuff like that, uh, because I'm I this game seems like it's got a lot of uh, content and the get de developer uh, keeps updating it. Um, and uh, yeah, this this game is very, very beefy. You got a new turret last run and something else. Yeah, I think it was that perk that uh, that checklist perk or whatever. And like you can just see them all. Um, and, uh, the achievements, right? We're 6% completion. Uh, apparently there's other modes that we haven't even unlocked. Extract, shmup, classic, brood, and abyss. And they all also have their own ascension levels. Uh, we don't even know how to unlock these. There seems to be a lot of content. So if you guys want to keep seeing more of this game, let me know. Uh, I am, I am definitely excited, uh, uh, to, uh, to keep on sinking our teeth into this. So let me know if you want to see me, uh, more. There's a kitty right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, make sure you guys subscribe. Ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say uh, to be notified if more Genome Guardian videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen uh, right next to me. Check out you know our first episode for another crazy build. Uh, and uh, if you're going to be grinding out some Genome Guardian on your own, then I wish you guys luck. And I'll see you all next time.